Hello friends, how are you? My name is Arun. Today I am I am going to discuss about how to print prime numbers from one to n. N means n may be anything. It may be ten. It may be twenty. It may be hundred. It may be thousand. It may be anything. So n value will be supplied by user. That means we will get the value from keyboard. So what is the logic I am going to discuss? So I mean, suppose if you give input n equal to ten, output should be. Like two comma three comma five comma seven, like that. I have to display. Okay. So what is the logic I am going to discuss? I mean, uh, I'll explain the logic first. Later, I'll implement the logic in Java. And friends, remember, uh, this is a very important uh, program uh, in a real point of view. Time, I think most of the uh, interview persons will ask this question. but most of the people will fail in this one so before attending the if before attending, attending any interview please try to uh, understand this logic okay so let's get into the logic so here what is the value of n sorry friends so just i am giving n equal to 10 that means between 1 to n i want to display prime numbers so what is the definition of prime number uh, if any number is having exactly two factors then this called prime numbers that means if any number is divisible by 1 and itself then that is called prime number okay in the previous example i already explained 2 is a prime number 3 is a prime number 5 is a prime number 7 is a prime number so what are the factors of 2 1 comma 2 so 2 is a prime number and a 3 What are the factors of three? One and three. Two is not a factor like that. What about five? Five is having two factors. What are those? One and five. Seven. So what? What are the factors of seven? One and seven. So for any prime number, for any prime number, only it is having two factors. What are those? One and itself. That's it. Okay, so this is the logic I am going to implement. Okay. See here. Now, first what I will do, I will generate uh, numbers like um, I will I will take numbers. So prime number starting from two onwards. So that is the reason I am taking two, three, four, like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. By using uh, this is one loop. By using the uh, by using Uh, for loop, I'll generate numbers from two to ten. Why I'm uh, why I'm taking two onwards because uh, factors. I mean prime numbers uh, prime numbers starting from two onwards. Then uh, I mean I I'll take one more loop. I'll start I'll take the numbers from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This is like J loop. Two loops I'll take. Why I'm taking two loops because I want to check. Two uh, is a prime number or not? Three is a prime number or not? Five, four is a prime number or not? Like that, I have to check it, right? So that is the reason I have taken numbers from two to ten. But why I am taking uh, one, two, these things? Because I will take factors. So one is a factor, two is a factor, three is a factor, like that. So first, I will take one number from I loop. Like I will take two, and I will divide two with one, two, three, four, five, and I will divide three with these all numbers like one to ten, and I will take four and I will divide. Numbers from one to ten. So that is the reason I have taken one to ten. And um, I mean, uh, for counting factor, I mean, fa I mean, to count the factors, I am taking one more variable. What is that? Say integer count equal to zero. Or any number you can take it. Any variable you can take it. Okay. First, I'll take like this. From I loop, I'll take. From this, I'll take. First, I'll take two. See here, friends. First, I am taking this, uh, this two. Okay, I am dividing two with two, one, like this. So first, I will take two mod one, then two mod two, then two mod three, say two mod four, say two mod five, two mod six, two mod seven. Two mod eight and two mod nine. Finally, two mod ten. I'll take. 
and what is the remainder of 2 mod 1 equal to how much 0 so 2 mod 2 how much 0 2 mod 3 what is the remainder 2 what is the 2 mod 4 remainder you will get 2 only so here also you will get 2 you will get 2 here also you will get 2 here you get 2 2 here you will get 2 so how many factors are there so if you are dividing 2 with any number if you get 0 then we can say that is the factor so 2 is having only two factors what are those 1 and 2 so what is the value of count here count will become 2 count will become 2 so here you have to check so if count equal to 2 then you can display prime number so what is the prime number 2 is the prime number so second time what will be happen 2 is done so next I'll, I have to check with 3 so how to check and friends once for loop is completed make this counter 0 because already count is having 2 if you did not reset the value if you did not make it to 0 then what will be happen from 2 onwards values will be counted so count will not uh, will not become like uh, 2 forever it will not become 2 that is the reason make sure that for I mean I mean uh, after this for loop so reset this counter value otherwise uh, it will be incremented from 2 onwards and uh, what I need to do so may uh, reset this value it's not 1 one minute friends it's not 2 you have to make it 0 because I mean by using this statement make it 0 so already I tested 2 2 is a prime number then what I need to do it I need to check with 3 I need to check for 3 so I am taking so 3 mod 1 but the remainder is 0 or not yes what about 3 mod 2 and uh, 3 mod 3 3 mod 4 and uh, 3 mod 5 3 mod 6 so 3 mod 7 3 mod 8 so 3 modulus 9 and 3 modulus 10 and what about the remainder we have to take 3 mod 2 how much 3 mod 2 is uh, I think you have to check the so 1 so here 3 mod 2 0 3 mod 4 3 only you will get 3 you will get 3 here you will get 3 here and uh, you will get 3 here And here you'll get three. Here also you'll get three. And how many times? I mean uh, zeros. Count the zeros so two times. That means three is having only two factors. What are those? One and three. So directly you can say you can display prime number. What is that? Prime number is three. So friends, you can check it for four as well. So how? Please check for four as well. So three is completed. So 3 is completed now I am checking for 4 how to check this 4 and 4 mod 1 equal to 0 or not you have to check yes and 4 mod 2 and 4 say mod 3 4 mod 4 and 4 mod 5 and 4 mod 6 and 4 mod 7 4 mod 8 and 4 mod 9 and 4 mod 10 and you have to check factor or not how to check 4 mod 2 what is it remainder is 0 4 mod 3 remainder not 0 I think uh, 1 you will get it so 4 mod 4 0 4 mod 5 4 you will get it 4 mod 6 4 4 mod 7 4 4 mod 8 4 4 mod 9 4 4 mod 10 you will get it so count number of zeros so how many how many zero one two i think four mod one zero four mod two zero and four mod four zero like four is having not two factors it is having three factors what are those and one and four as well as two two is also factor for four so four is having three factors so we cannot say four is not a prime number so here this condition will get failed like count equal to 2 is there right so here count value is 3 but I am checking whether it is having two factors or not it is not having two factors it is having three factors hence 4 is not a prime number
so then we will check with we will check for five so in the in the in the i mean uh, in this way we will um, check each and every number for two i'll check three i'll check four i'll check so till 10 i'll check so i'll display if count equal to two that means if any number is having exactly two factors so i'll print that number so this is the logic i am going to implement uh, friends this is somewhat uh, you know uh, bit important so please concentrate and try to learn the i mean try to understand the logic uh, don't try to by heart the logic uh, it's always um, problem only uh, okay so let let's start the project sorry application uh, program so already i have taken one class the name of the class is prime number and i, I am trying to read the values from keyboard by using scanner class and i already displayed the message and i am trying to get the value from the keyboard now what i am doing is i am taking one for loop so why i am taking this for loop because to generate the prime numbers i mean to generate the numbers from 2 to n so how to integer i equal to 2 i less than r equal to n so i plus plus that's it and why i am taking two you already know prime number starting from two onwards and already i am taking one counter variable if you don't take count value here then what will be happen i'll i'll tell you already i have discussed here if you did not uh, I mean, if you did not reset the counter value, counter uh, counter variable, or if you did not make it to zero, then what will be happen? So first time, counter is two. So for three, counter is uh, counter value will be incrementing from not zero onwards, from two onwards. Hence, you will get you will get output. You will get wrong output. So I am taking one more for loop. So this is to generate. To generate numbers from 1 to n okay integer say j equal to 1 j less than r equal to n j plus plus and uh, one more thing friends why what is there okay so integer j equal to 1 j less than or equal to n j plus plus and in this case why i am taking from 1 onwards because for any number factor starting from factor starting from 1 onwards that is the reason i am taking 1 to n here why i am taking 2 to n prime number starting from 2 onwards and now what i will do i will divide i value with j each and every time i will take i value and i value i will divide with j that means j 1 2 3 like that okay so how to check whether i is prime or not so you have to divide i value with j equal to zero then already i have taken one counter variable i am incrementing that one so first time i i will take i i mean i will take two first time i will take uh, i equal to two then i will divide two with one two uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and uh, for each and every time i will check um j is factor of i or not if it is yes then i'll increment the value but what is the definition of prime number prime number is exactly is having exactly two factors one and itself so i am checking count equal to two or not if yes yes no problem directly you can display the value which value i have to display i value or j value i one i only you have to display because i is a prime number that's it friends let me let me test the program let me execute this program and uh, 10 so 2 3 5 7 you are getting right so 2 is a prime number 3 is a prime number 5 is also prime number and 7 is also prime number and one more thing let me give it for 100 yes for any number you will get prime i mean uh, from 1 to n you can display the prime numbers by using this logic and one more thing friends there is a performance issue what is that line number 16 if you see here um, like for I, what i am doing here i value 1 to n for any number like it may be 2 it may be 3 it may be 4 it may be 5 it may be anything what i am doing here i am dividing from 1 to n that means see here so 1 to 10 i am checking like this 1 to 10 i am checking 
I am checking with one, I am checking with two, I am checking with three, and till ten. For each and every time, I am checking all. I am checking with one to n numbers. So it's not required, friends. So if you take two, it's not required to uh, divide with. Uh, it's not required to check all the numbers, right? Because for two, what is the range of factors? The range should be uh, like um, one to two only, right? So why we need to divide with the three, four, five, six, seven, and eight? It's not required, right? Here, what I'm saying is, what are the factors of two? If you take two, sorry, one minute. Uh, if you take two, what are the factors two is having? One comma two. I am saying that, and what are the factors of three? Uh, like. One comma two comma three, so the factors will be available in one two three only. But no need to check with four five six also, right? Factors range is between one and one two three. Here two factors will be one between one two. I mean one two yeah one two two. For factors three one two three only. If you take four, uh, factors will be lies. I mean from one two four only one two three four. But what are what I am doing here? What we are doing here for two or three or four, whatever it may be, we are dividing that two with all ten numbers, and we are dividing three with all ten numbers, and we are dividing four with all ten numbers. So it's not required for two. We have to check with till two. For three, we have to check till. We can check with for till three. For four, till four. For five, till five. Six till six, we can check it. So unnecessarily, we are we are dividing with uh, extra numbers. So for that one, what I am doing is for till ten, no need to check. We can simply use i. That's it. But uh, I mean, no, I mean, there is no change in the output, but perform performance will be improved. Number of iterations will be decreased. That's it. Let me test it once again whether any error or any uh, output. Any any change in the output? No change, right? And one minute. Let me check it for hundred as well. Yes, you got. Likewise, you can print uh, prime numbers from one to n. You can print the prime numbers, friend. And one more thing, friends. But what we are doing, if you see here, uh, in this program, what we are doing, if we are giving input equal to ten, we are displaying the prime numbers from one to One to ten, we are finding how many prime numbers are there. Those prime numbers we are printing. But if you give one to ten, you have to display ten prime numbers. What are the ten prime numbers? Two, three, five, seven. Not only seven. One minute. Uh, where is it? Yeah. Two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen. That means one minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So till twenty nine, I have to display. Like this, friends. Like this, you have to display. So can you please try from our side? And still, if you are having any issues or anything, and please let me know. Uh, I can, uh, if anybody is having any issues, I'll display. I think I hope you understood, right? So I implemented logic for if I give n equal to ten, I am displaying two, three, five, seven because one to ten only four prime numbers are there. But my requirement is if I give n equal to ten, I should you have to display ten prime numbers. So try to implement that logic, and uh, please let me know in the. comment section uh, like uh, that's it friends thanks a lot uh, i mean one more thing friends uh, still if you are having any uh, logic implementation uh, or if you are not understanding any logic please let me in the comment section i'll try to explain uh, i'll try to make a video and in that video i'll uh, explain the logic thanks a lot friends thanks a lot for watching my video